So what is a cerebral aneurysm and how does it relate to a stroke? A cerebral aneurysm is a thin or weak spot in an artery in the brain and it can bulge out and it can actually look like a berry on a stem. And if it progresses and gets bigger and weaker, it can rupture causing bleeding in the brain. So most aneurysms don't rupture and they're usually found when somebody is getting scanning to the brain for something else. So what are some risk factors for developing an aneurysm? Some aneurysms come from an inherited connective tissue disorder that weakens the artery walls. Something called an arteriovenous malformation or tangles of arteries in the brain can lead to aneurysms. A history of aneurysm in a first degree family member increases your risk of an aneurysm. Other risk factors develop slowly over time. Untreated high blood pressure, cigarette smoking, drug abuse, especially cocaine or amphetamines. And then there are some other less common risk factors like head trauma, brain tumor, or an infection in the arterial wall. So how are strokes and aneurysms related? Well, a stroke can come when a blood vessel in the brain is blocked. It's called an ischemic stroke. Or when a blood vessel in the brain ruptures, and that's called a hemorrhagic stroke. The ischemic stroke is the most common type of stroke and can happen when you have a blood clot going into the brain from somewhere else, or when there's plaque buildup in the arteries of the brain. The hemorrhagic stroke again happens when a blood vessel ruptures and can come from high blood pressure or from rupture of a cerebral aneurysm. A ruptured aneurysm again is bleeding in the brain and can be a life-threatening emergency, so it needs to be taken care of immediately. Often non-ruptured aneurysms are not treated, but sometimes they're treated in order to prevent a future rupture. So what are some symptoms of a ruptured aneurysm? A sudden severe headache is a key symptom of a ruptured aneurysm. It's often described as the worst headache of my life. Other symptoms might include a stiff neck, blurred or double vision, sensitivity to light, a seizure, a drooping eyelid, confusion, loss of consciousness. An unruptured aneurysm often doesn't have symptoms, but a larger one might. It might press on some of the brain tissues and possibly cause some symptoms like pain behind or above one eye, a dilated pupil, change in vision or double vision, numbness on one side of the face. So if you or someone you know develops that sudden, extremely severe headache, often associated with some of those other symptoms that I told you about, seek immediate medical attention. Call 911 or whatever the number is in your country. So again, an aneurysm is a bulging out of one of the blood vessels in the brain. Often they don't rupture. Sometimes they can rupture and that can cause bleeding in the brain, which is a kind of hemorrhagic stroke.